There she is. That is the crappie of the day thus far. Oh no, I want to get your slow-mo picture. Ow! <laughs> Ow, cut it out. Have you out of here soon? Crappie these days. No respect for a slow-mo video. Hey folks, as you can see from the title here, Galt versus Kai Tech. <laughs> That's a description of the lure battle that my buddy Nick and I were having chasing the crappie in this pond. But I started the day bass fishing. So if you want to watch the bass fishing, that's great. If you don't, I'll put a time mark in here so you can skip ahead to the crappie and see our little battle of lures over that way. And at the very end of the video, I'll wrap it up by describing exactly what worked and exactly which gear I was using at the time, all right? So without further ado, let's get to the fishing. Folks, I'm coming to you today from a private pond. And the name of the game today is actually bass. And after that crappie, there's actually some yellow perch in here too. So we'll see how that goes, see how it progresses. Sunrise is just coming up and it's looking absolutely beautiful. It's a, uh, we'll see how it goes. I know there's bass in here up to about five or six pounds at least. And there's a bunch of crappie besides. So if the bass want to play, that's great. I'm going to go for bass. I'm going to start with top water, transition to subsurface. A lot of pad structure here. A lot of pad structure. So I'm going to have to see how my lure game develops over the day. Let's go for bass. They don't want to play. I'm going for the crappie. All right. Let's get to it. Got him. Got him. <laughs> Not a big guy, but I got him. Been stalking you for a minute, little guy. Y'all need a better forage base in here. Y'all really do. That's a bit on the skinny side. Bit on the skinny side. You gone now. Good luck. But that came on the weightless Texas rig zoom fluke. Old trusty, man. I've been using this lure for, God, I don't know how many years. Long, long time. For fishing these pads, it's great. Because you can drag it along the top. It'll float pretty well. You, you hit those voids in the pads where those bass will often stage to ambush. Let it drop, let it sink. I'll pick it up. Now, I've been watching my line to wait for it to jump. To know when I have a fish. That time it, it didn't hardly jump at all. I just reeled down and she was there and set the hook. I just missed another one on the zoom flute. That one I missed because I made a crucial mistake. I got excited because I saw the pads move. I knew that she was on it. But I got so excited that I just set the hook instead of reeling down first. So when I set the hook, there was a a ton of slack in my line. This one feels pretty good. Unless he's just stuck in the pads. What do we have here? Yeah, like I said, Zoom Fluke is doing the trick. That's a little better. <laughs> By no means a big bass, but a little better. A little better shape too. It's good to see. Not quite as emaciated as the other. That's two casts in a row with fish. I got a feeling they're really gonna like this today. To explain what I'm doing, you see the pad field, and then you see the voids or the holes in the pads. What I'm doing, generally speaking, is casting beyond them. I'll let it sink initially if it hits water instead of pads. Just, oh, right there. 
Oh, I lost him. Hey, Nick. Four casts in a row, four fish. Weightless Texas rig zoom fluke. Let's see if she wants to come back. I mean, I really doubt it, but I'll give it a shot. A little guy on. Just an itty bitty. Just an itty bitty. Hey, 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 man. Calm down. No little messy. 12 inches. 11, 12 inches. Oh my god. Anytime you're at a pond and you find where the water is entering the pond, boy, that can be absolute money. Because what it's, oh, what it's doing is bringing nutrients into the pond as well as insects, any other kind of food that might be caught up in the flow of current. It's also bringing dissolved oxygen into the pond. So there's lots of reasons for fish to hang out here. Oh, Jesus. Oh, wow. Yes. Oh, man. Oh. There were two of them that made a beeline for it. And this one just happened to get there first. <laughs> All right, little guy. And it's very, oh, here he comes, here he comes, here he comes. Did you get it? Gotcha. <laughs> oh, man. You guys aren't big, but you are fun. Especially when you can watch them <laughs> up in the shallows. Watch that weight come into it. Oh, that's always a good time. I love watching the bobber go down, man. You're such a bobber. I am. Bobber. Oh, there he is. Hey, hey, hey. I win. It's my turn. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Get him, crappie. There you are. Oh, yeah. My first crappie of the day. Yes, she is. Ow, ow, ow. Oh, very next to the boat. I love that. <laughs> very next to the boat again. <laughs> Hello. Yes, yes. Nice, nicely done, Vanna White. <laughs> nice crappie. Bull, little bluegill. <laughs> oh, you bit my tail off. Love it. I love it. There you go. Going up here. That's a better one. His yeah, tail's jacked up though. Looks like a snapping throw took two chunks out of him. Oh, we doubled. You see his tail, man? Yeah. Hello. Ah, ah, oh God. <laughs> gotcha. Feel like a decent crappie. Ah, getting all wet. Making me all wet, man. Hey. 
Ooh. Hello. Ow. Got me right in the hand. Yep, there you are again. Didn't have to do a darn thing. Uh, ouch. Love it. Right between us. Whoop. There she is. That is the crappie of the day thus far. Oh, no. I want to get your slow-mo picture. Ow. <laughs> Ow. Cut it out. I'll be out of here soon. Crappie these days. No respect for a slow-mo video. Folks, you can see the action out here was non-stop with these panfish. It was, it was a great time. Now, when it comes to the gulp versus Kitek divide, we both caught the same number of fish, but Nick, I think, caught more crappie, and he was the only one to catch yellow perch. So if I was really targeting just the crappie or yellow perch, I'd probably go Kitek, just by a hair. Now, as with one 32nd ounce jig head, fish underneath of a float with a barrel swivel to reduce line twisting, and you can see all the various lures we used right here. I'll have links to all of these in the video description so that if you want to try some, you'll be able to click that link and find them, all right? If you have any questions or comments, let me know. Let me know if you've had any different experience between Kai Tech and Gulp for Crappie. And please like, share, and subscribe, and y'all have a good one.